Well, a robotic surgery center in the tri-state just got a big boost towards its expansion thanks to a special <laughs> speaker that is boldly going where no one's gone before, Mars. Yeah, he sat down to talk exclusively with Local 12's medical reporter Liz Bonas, who joins us now. Liz. Hi Paula, hi Brad. It is quite the inspiration for teamwork and innovation, which is really what TriHealth's new Center of Robotic Excellence is all about. They raised more than $150,000 for it at this year's Bethesda Lyceum. It was at the Horseshoe Casino last night where I got to sit down, talk to this guy, Adam Seltzner. He made history as the lead engineer of the team that landed the Curiosity Mars rover in 2012. We share why he's supporting this new surgery center in this story that you will see only on Local 12. Uh, we put a big rover, size of a car, down on the surface of Mars, and it's done some fantastic science, and it's told us that Mars, the early environment of Mars, was habitable for life. Adam Stelzner says he's getting ready now for Mars 2020. It will allow his team to actually bring samples back from Mars, not just take pictures as they did initially when Curiosity landed on Mars. We're taking a same big rover, similar landing system we developed last time, but now we're going to drill into the surface of Mars and take core samples of rock, put them in specially hypersterile, hermetically sealed cylinders, leave them on the surface of Mars for a second mission to come and scoop them up, put them in orbit, and eventually return them to Earth. Stelzner told me this will answer a couple of really important questions, such as... Was Mars ever alive? Or is Mars alive today? Which is really profound because it's asking the question, are we alone? He says teaming up with surgeons who are advancing the use of robotics to assist with surgery, the perfect pairing for his type of exploration. He got to demo technology like this right before he sat down to talk to me. That sort of the, seems to be like the next step in medical technology because human hands only come in kind of one size and there's lots of little tiny parts in the body that we'd like to get into without making room for these big ham hocks. So, um, so it's, it's exciting. It's very exciting. Stelzner says one of the goals of his work is to inspire curiosity, especially in kids. I think one of the most powerful results of our exploration of human exploration, which NASA is a huge part of, is that it produces wonder. And the small humans get it, and they wonder, and they do great things with that wonder. Oh, hard to beat mm. that. Uh, he said that it was actually a kid that chose the name Curiosity for the Rover 2012 mission. The next one in 2020, if in case you have a creative kid, they're gonna have another contest. You can That's name right. it. I said more Curiosity, that was my pick. But Try Help Team, by the way, you're going to use that money to purchase the next level, Da Vinci XI, they call it. Uh, it uses them. They can use the robot in more than one part of the body during the same surgery. Just amazing stuff and faster recovery for patients. He's got like a kid-like curiosity about his work, too. I could have talked to him for hours. It just is that fascinating science mind. Yeah, good yeah. to see. Thank you, Liz. Mm -hmm. From local